Hello Leo and welcome to your October 2019 future love reading. This is for Leo. Leo, you can now find me on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Twitter at Secret Tarot 1111 and I will leave those links down below in the description box. All right, Leo, this is for you. Please keep in mind that time is fluid, so you could be dealing with a situation like this right now, or you could be dealing with a situation like this in the future, a month from now, a couple months from now. All right, Leo, let's see what's going on with your future love. Let's see what's going on with your future love, Leo. What is going on with Leo's future love? What is going on, okay? All right, so we have this could be the one you've already met, the romantic partner you seek. So they've got their eyes on you, Leo, eyes on you. And then true love situation, this is the romance of a lifetime. So very nice combination of cards here. This is very, very good. I mean, should we even go any further? Should we just leave it at that? That's an amazing combination of cards. Leo, I love it. Let's see what else is going on here. True love situation. You could be the one, Leo, right? All right. Leo, let's see what else is happening here. If this resonates with you, Leo, please like, share, and subscribe. And leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Leo, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Leo out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable, so however it resonates with you. This is for Leo. For October 2019, their future love. What is going on with Leo's future love? Okay. Okay. Okay, so they themselves are experiencing their own tower moment at the moment, okay? But they're coming in to rock your world, Leo. This person has had their eye on you for a hot minute. And now that something is ending for them, now they are free to come towards you. They want to come towards you. They've been wanting to come towards you, all right? So we have the tower here. This person, I feel, is experiencing their own tower moment. Okay, so they're, they're experiencing some sort of ending here. And this could be the universe's way in guiding them in the correct direction. I don't think they've been in, in the correct situation, right? They may have been dealing with some karmic um, issues or whatever the case may be, but now it's time for them to be set free so they can come towards you. All right, because they're coming. They're coming, Leo. They're coming. So this person is experiencing um, a tower moment. They're experiencing some sort of ending, and I feel it is to a relationship, okay? So, all right. So that's what they're going through. It could have been very... Uh, dramatic for them as well but it's freeing them up to to make some moves here um, Leo I'm going to be reading the energies of the cards if the sign of the person that you are dealing with or have dealt with or will be dealing with in the future if their sign pops up at all the better keep in mind time is fluid like I said before so you could be dealing with a situation like this right now or in the future right a month from now a couple months from now and please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it, the energies can be vice versa, interchangeable. So assign the roles as you wish, okay? So I feel like this person, I'm going to read it the way I'm seeing it here. It could resonate with you a little differently. However, 
however it works for you and your your specific situation. The tower here, I feel like this person is experiencing some sort of ending, like I said, that's going to free them up in order to be able to pursue you, to come towards you. Yep, they're done. Wherever they're at, they are done. All right, five of um, swords, enough is enough. They're laying down their swords and they're like, I'm out of here. They're walking away from situations that no longer serve them. This is air energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. My God, it is done. It is this The situation that they are dealing with, it is so over, okay? It's over. And, you know, they may have some residual, they may have uh, need a moment or two to heal from the situation, but um, they're coming towards you. They're going to be reaching out here pretty soon, just so you're aware of that. Ten of Swords, this is air, more air energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. They, they're hurt. Uh, but tens are endings here. They may have gotten betrayed. And it kind of catapulted this situation where they said, enough's enough. I'm out. I'm done. Okay. So no more stalemate. No more indecision. This person's blindfold is off. Okay. They may have, they may have been hanging in there for one reason or another. Maybe it was financial ties. Maybe they, you know, children are involved in whatever situation they're in, but something was holding them there. And sometimes when they, this is a stalemate, this is, you know, needing more time, more information to make a decision. Maybe they were waiting on some sort of opportunity here. I don't know, but whatever the case may be, there's most definitely movement now. Decisions are made. And if they were in this stalemate state of mind where they weren't moving and they still had that blindfold on, two of swords, even more air energy, then it, the universe has a way of creating movement, especially if they are in, in a situation that's no longer serving them. Okay, so definite movement here, definite ending, no more stalemate, no more waiting. Them in their current situation, they're on the move. They are leaving behind a situation that they that completely drained them emotionally. They're drained. I feel like they really put in their all into this situation and they got stabbed in the back anyway. Um, they were really hoping that time would like heal the situation or Somehow it was going to get fixed. It, it was a very confusing situation for them. But it was just something happened here that kind of catapulted this situation to close. Okay. Um, it could have been some sort of unexpected information that came out. I don't know. But it definitely caused some drama and some movement and an ending to their situation. But this is freeing them from walking away from that empty situation because they were drained. They just had nothing left to give in that situation. So much pain for them. So now they are walking away. You see them walking away? Who are they coming towards? You, Leo. They've had their eye on you for quite some time. It's just that they've been stuck. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek, right? Right behind that, I just want to point out, we have a past life relationship. You have known each other before. So this person has had felt strong ties to you. Now, I don't, I don't see this as being a horrible ex. I don't. Um, I feel like this is a very kind energy, a very close energy. So I don't know if you've dated this person before or just sh shared past lives with them. I feel like you know them somehow from the past, Leo. I mean, it could have been an old high school sweetheart or somebody you worked with in the past and 
you know, you felt that connection, but things just never got off the ground. I mean, it could be in any scenario, but I do feel like it's a very kind and close energy. That's what I want to say here. Then this next one here, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. This person has been, they, they never lost hope in the situation with you, Leo. All right, we better get out of that pile and continue on with the tarot. Okay, their feelings for you. I feel like this is a little bit of an obsession, but um, they know that you are not going to accept third party situations. And they know that you would not be the kind of person to accept anything toxic in the situation. Now, the devil is a Capricorn energy or the sign of Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or somebody with strong Capricorn in their chart. But as an energy, you know, they just, they don't want to bring anything toxic with them. They don't want to bring a whole lot of baggage with them. Okay. Whatever they're getting out of was pretty toxic. All right. And they don't want to involve you in any kind of third party. They, they hold you. They have so much more respect for you than that. Okay. So that's what's going on here. The challenge is this is a whole new journey for them. And I do feel like they're a, a bit scared. All right. And they know that the ball is going to be in your court. Um, they've got a lot going on. They've got a lot ending and uh, a lot of changes that they are going through with this tower. So they may be afraid, you know, they may be afraid that you, you're not going to be uh, ready to accept all of this. They truly do want to be with you, but it's almost like, they they know that they really haven't had time to properly heal from the situation quite yet but they still they've they've had you on their mind for ages and they know what this connection is and they never lost hope that one day one day that they were going to be with you so the ball is going to be in your court here but an, another challenge to the situation like i was saying before is this is a whole new journey for them right they found themselves at a crossroads and it's very, very, it's frightening. Not only, it's frightening for everybody when you find yourself at a crossroads, right? So they're, they're a little bit scared, a little bit apprehensive, but the, these feelings that they have for you, I feel like they're just going to go for it. Two of Wands, this is Fire, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Their actions, you're going to be hearing from them. They're going to be telling you all about what's been going on with them. Um, be, I don't want to say shoulder to cry on, Leo, but I feel like you're going to be a big strength for this person. Okay. Now, don't, I, I wouldn't view this as them kind of unloading on you. I, because they've been wanting to be with you for a very long time, but it may seem that way at times. I, I do want, I do want to say that, but you're going to be hearing from this person. Um, you're, they're going to be reaching out to you and you're going to be hearing about all of this that they've been going through. Page of Wands, this is Fire, Energy, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Now this person, for some of you, could live at a distance from you okay different uh, city state country whatever the case may be but this person is getting out of drama getting out of some sort of toxic situation that really put them through it here Leo and they are headed towards their peace they see you as their peace they see you as their strength and they know um, <laughs> they've been they've been waiting a while they, they have been waiting a while, I feel, right? Um, they've had their eye on you for a very, very long time. And there's movement now. Where there was stagnation, where there was a stalemate, there is movement. Behind this two of swords, this is a completion that they're going through. 
could be like a karmic cycle that they they've been having to deal with and now they're ready to start new chapters with somebody that they know that they truly do want to be with somebody that they know that they could really give their heart to okay um so yeah they're moving on moving on up moving on towards you leo all right so let's put that there scoot those over Please clarify the Six of Swords for Leo's future love. This is for Leo, October 2019 for their future love reading. Please clarify that Six of Swords for Leo's future love. Yeah. Big time decisions here. Huge decisions on this person's part, but they're making them. And they have decided to leave toxic energies behind they are like i said before they're completing this karmic cycle and it could have really really done a number on them but this is the final decision if you have a fear leo that this person because they're going to be wanting to talk about this. i mean i'm not even going to lie to you because they're going to have to go through this healing process they've been hurt okay they don't want to bring all this baggage to you they don't but they simply just want to be with you because they've had you on their mind for so long. Please uh, just know that this is their final decision. This is the, uh, the completion of a cycle for this person. And they are not going to go back. Okay. They are not going to go backward. They're going to continue to go forward. They're going to continue to move towards you. Okay. So King of Swords, right? Now, you could be dealing with an air sign or somebody with strong air in their chart. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, right? That could be. This person, I feel, is cutting, cutting, cutting out. They're making a very clear-cut decision, judgment, to cut out this past energy so that they can be with you. Um, they're going to want to talk a lot of talking, talking, talking. King of Swords is all about communication and clarity, right? So they're going to be wanting to talk. Um, but they're trying to think with their head when it comes to this past decision, they know it's no longer emotionally serving them, completely drain them. Okay. Now this could also be you in the situation really feel feeling out this person to see if they're for real okay so you may be using your head for a while when it comes to this person and not allowing your emotions to get involved too quickly because of all the drama that they have been dealing with but just know that this person like i said before has thought about you for a significant amount of time they feel those soul ties to you they feel like you have been the one for them for a very long time. They feel like it's not only true love, but a past life connection. And they, it's almost like, I want to say a relief that what they have been through is over, even though it hurt them terribly, so that they are free to move towards you. Okay, Leo. So very complicated little read here, but that is what's going on with your future love at this time. All right. So yeah, I hope that resonates with you. And I, um, <sighs> that was an intense one. <laughs> that was intense, Leo. We'll say some prayers for you. Okay. All right, Leo, like I said at the beginning of the video, you can now follow me on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Twitter at Secret Tarot 1111 and I will leave those links down below in the description box. Um, I also have a weekly schedule, and you can find that weekly schedule in my About section and in the description box below. There you can find when your weekly reading will be released. There's also a live schedule there in both locations. And I usually go live every day, but Saturday around noon Eastern Standard Time. Okay. 
Next week, I'm going to be working on the November 2019 monthly readings, the big ones. So check all of that out, Leo. You guys have a lovely week and you take very good care of yourself. And God bless.